Yeah, I mean, they've already started. I was invited, funnily enough, on the 5th of, was it Friday? The 5th of July for um, uh, to open. I, I started my career at Air United and Air played Celtic in a pre-season game. So the lads are already back. They're playing it. I know it was to open one of the stands and it's only very early on in the season. But I was a little um, uh, surprised that Celtic haven't been more uh, active in the transfer market um, to you know to not to stabilise. I know that they were relatively successful last year in terms of obviously you know putting Rangers putting in their place again. But I'd like to see. I'd like to. I, I like. I like business done early. You know. I, I like. I like as you get towards the end of the season and almost the season finishes. And I know that maybe some of the managers have been watching the Euros and thinking, oh, "I'll take him. I might get him for a price or etc. Cetera, etc." Cetera. I like the business done early, and so far, yeah, as of yet, Celtic haven't really been too busy. But that's got to change. Of course, it's got to change. New faces have to come in, people leave, things have to be freshened up, and uh, I'm sure they're on the. I'm sure they're on the job. It's just not been done yet. Well, maybe the goalkeeper. I don't know whether you know bringing in a, a top goalkeeper. I mean, you you don't normally win anything without a really good goalkeeper, and I think the case with Celtic is they've always had. A very good goal stopper way back when in my day with you know with Packy Bonner etc cetera, etc. Cetera. That's always something that I always think that uh, Celtic have been stronger, much stronger in. Um, I suppose you can say I'd like to say I'd like to ask a, a Celtic fan that have been to every single Celtic game this season. They can tell us the in, in, you know the definite answer to that one. But you're always looking to strengthen constantly. It doesn't really matter where you are unless you've got a striker, a world class striker that's scoring you 25 goals. You leave him alone and you bring him back up. Otherwise, every position is looking to get filled, to be quite honest with you. And I would imagine that, you know, the wheels are working to bring in not just players, but you need you want to bring in quality. Remember, Celtic qualify for Europe. And the biggest bugbear that a lot of Celtic fans have is they don't get out those group stages and get into those next round stages. And that's something they would love to do. And if you can get a player that might have that kind of experience, then I think Celtic should maybe go down that line looking to try and bring them in. It's not easy. It's not easy. Just You think it's easy just because you've got money and you go, OK, we'll give you 15, we'll give you 30, we'll give you 50 million. Much more goes on just to buying a player. But I'm sure, like I said, the wheels are in motion. But as of yet, yeah, they haven't been too busy in the transfer market. Oh, be bad. I think that would be unbelievable. I just don't know... Would he? Would Kelleher come? Would he leave Liverpool? I'm not, I'm not sure. He's in it. I mean, as far as I was aware, he's absolutely loved at Liverpool, and certainly Klopp absolutely adored him. And you saw me; he played him in all the cup competitions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think he was a good deputy whenever he was, whenever he was needed. To be honest, that would be a great signing for Celtic. It'd be fabulous. It really would. Whether or not you could prize him away from the arms of Liverpool, I'm not really sure. A uh, and B, I don't know how much it would cost. I think it might cost a few quid, but yeah. Certainly in terms of something like that. And that's the kind of experience I'm talking about, you know, having played at that top level and maybe a little bit of European level, I think would be a great job for Celtic. 